Okay. Okay, hey guys, so we're gonna be making pretzels. A lot of you guys on my Instagram asked me how to make this pretzels with cream cheese filling. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how. So we're gonna start with our ingredients. Our ingredients are, hold on, let me see if I can remember. remember. Okay, I'm gonna be doubling the amount because a lot of people are gonna eat this, so I have to make more. So you need one and a half cups of lukewarm water, one packet of active yeast, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of melted butter, three cups of flour, 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 I don't know. And then you're gonna also need a half cup of baking soda. For the filling, we're gonna need four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, a splash of vanilla maybe like a teaspoon a teaspoon of vanilla and then and then and then we're also gonna need one egg for the wash of the okay so let's start the water is already warm we're gonna put our yeast in here hold on let me go get a okay. whisk so we're gonna put this in here put this fix and let this sit for one minute put on my apron, 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 so that I don't get powder all over. <laughs> okay, so after one minute, we're gonna add in the salt, brown sugar, Ooh. and then the melted butter. So now we're going to transfer this mixture into our mixer. Okay. Hold that. Let me just put it okay. okay. So now. Okay. So now we're going to add in our flour, 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 flour. We're going to add it slowly into the mixture, like a scoop at a time. We're gonna put it on low speed and then just continue to add it. So we're just gonna keep mixing this until a dough is formed. Okay. So once the mixture is done and it starts to form in a dough, we have to knead it. But before we do that, we have to make sure our surface is covered with flour, flour, flour. Okay, so put this here, I guess. I'm gonna take a spatula so that my hands don't get sticky. Hurry, 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 hurry! <laughs> and you can just add more flour, flour, flour to this if it seems too wet. Okay. <coughs> I don't want to touch it yet. And my hands are gonna get all sticky. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the flour on top of it too so that I can start kneading. Okay, whoa! See, it's all sticky. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this too. Okay, so I'm gonna just sprinkle some more on the top, like a lot more. for about like three minutes we're getting there so you want to push with this one here push down and then pull up or pull back with your four fingers almost done okay keep saying okay okay how many times did they say okay okay so after kneading it for like about three minutes, we want to take a clean towel and cover it so that you can let it rise. Um, you want to do this for about 
10 to 15 minutes. So while we wait for the dough to set and rise, um, we're going to start making our cream cheese filling. So I already creamed, I already creamed, I, have, I already cleaned this bowl. So now we're going to take our cream cheese, we're going to put it inside our bowl. And then we're going to start slowly adding the powdered sugar inside. Also add our splash of vanilla. Pause really quick from the baking. Um, I'm editing it right now and I realized that I was missing some clips or I did not record. Good thing um, I had another camera that was on the island recording what I was doing. So those are the clips that you guys will be seeing. I just want to point that out. So yeah, okay, let's continue the baking. So this should be ready. You're also going to need a rolling pin. So let me get a rolling pin. So let's move this there. And then let's move this dough aside. Okay, so we're also going to fire our surface again. You're supposed to set the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna take about one third cup of dough. So I'm just gonna eye it. And then we're just gonna roll it out. Do you want the roll to be about this long? Like your hand, both hands, that length. So we're gonna roll this out flat. Not too flat, just enough so that we have space to put the cream cheese. You're gonna wanna do it this way too. Once it looks like this, um, we're gonna take our cream cheese filling and we're gonna pipe it on here. I think we need to make this a little bit bigger. After that, we're going to take the ends of the dough and then pinch it together so that the cream cheese filling is inside. And then you want to roll this out again so that you don't see any of the creases. Since we're making a Mickey pretzel, just like the one in Disneyland, take both ends of the pretzels and pinch this together. And then you're gonna take this end and put it like that. And then press these right here. And then sort of shape it like the Mickey Mouse. And then we're gonna set this aside. And you're just gonna keep doing this until you get about probably six bits in a baking sheet. Let's try making like the regular pretzel. So I just finished rolling out or forming all of these pretzels. Now we're gonna put them in our boiling pot of water with baking soda. I just added the baking soda into our boiling water. Now we're gonna start adding in our pretzels. You're gonna need a spatula. Um, try to get the ones with the hole 
in the middle so that the water can drain out. And we're just gonna put this in for the pretzels in for 20 to 30 seconds. They don't look perfect, but it's okay. We're all gonna eat them anyway, so. Yeah. So we're gonna just make sure we drain out all the water. And then we're gonna put them on a we're gonna put it on a baking sheet. So I made about 24 pretzels. So for the measurements I gave you guys, it will make about 12 pretzels. So since our first set is done, um, I'm just going to brush these with an egg wash. And then you can also add um, pretzel salt or um, cinnamon sugar. I like to put cinnamon sugar on it. So that's what I'm going to do after I um, put egg wash on it so that it has that brown color. And then you want to bake these for about, um, I would say 10 to 15 minutes around there. And then we're just gonna sprinkle cinnamon sugar on top, but I don't like to put too much. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven. Okay, we just finished baking these pretzels in the oven. Um, they were in there for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I let them cool for a little bit and I placed them on this um, plate and now we're gonna try it. Come here, try it. Okay. I'm gonna get in. I got my phone off. Attack! Attack! And there was like leftover um, cream cheese from the pipe bag so I put it in a little bowl go get one mommy and wow it's good hot and we're gonna try it mm, we'll get one <laughs> <laughs> I need a plate I told you I told you come here for the top do you want some cream cheese cream cheese snap or do you want cinnamon I also have leftover cinnamon you could add it on there too. Galing. Hurry up! Atak! Okay, go eat now. Atak! Get one. Daddy! Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in this house. Okay, if you guys decide to make these pretzels, make sure you tag me on my Instagram. Here is my channel, Lauren Marie G. Let me know how it goes. And if you guys, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh. <gasps>